I was on Google earlier today and I found one of the most ridiculous articles I've probably ever seen on WikiHow. It was like I discovered the lost city of Atlantis, but with information. If you're interested in finding out what it's all about, then stick around till the end of the video. In case you've ever wondered how to pee in the ocean without anybody seeing, well, you've come to the right place. Step 1. Make sure that there are no people close to you. If there are swimmers close by, move away from them, and even if they don't see you do your business, they may feel the sudden warmth and become suspicious. Now wouldn't that be something if little Timmy Bruh. just caught a mouthful of piss as he's trying to catch a wave at the beach? Step two, stay away from clumps of seaweed and other marine plants. Lots of fish and other sea animals live there. Some of them could harm you while others could be harmed by you. Step number three, keep an eye out for other marine animals. The further away you go from other people, the more likely you are to come across other sea critters. Stay clear of any marine life, including other fish, sharks, and jellyfish. You may hurt them or they may hurt you. Does WikiHow expect me to swim out into the middle of the fucking ocean and take a piss? Step 4. Avoid coral reefs. While urinating in the ocean can be beneficial to the marine plants, it can be harmful to coral reefs. Fair enough. Step number 5. Stay away from piers and jetties. Try to keep a distance of at least 100 feet, or 30.48 meters, from these places. Both piers and jetties tend to be surrounded by rip currents, which are very dangerous. If you even think of stepping within one centimeter of that 100 foot rule, well, that's not going to be a rip current anymore. That's going to be a rest in peace current, damn it. I bet you thought this was going to be a simple tutorial on how to piss in the ocean without shaming yourself. No, no, no. There's an act two, baby, and even an act three. Step one, wade until you are waist deep in the ocean. This will keep your cock and balls hidden from view. Step two, turn to face the horizon and the incoming waves. Never turn your back on the ocean. Even if the water seems calm and the waves are small, a huge fucking tidal wave can come up suddenly and kill you. Step three, keep your swimsuit on at all times. This is so that you do not expose yourself. I feel like that's pretty common knowledge. I feel like a normal, decent person isn't going to be stripping down in the middle of the ocean with <laughs> little, little kids and shit running around. Step four, place your feet so that they are shoulder width apart. This will help everything flow out easier. Pretend that you're enjoying the nice view. This will help people from suspecting what you're up to. Yeah, I'm sure nobody's gonna suspect a thing if I just stand there and look into the sky like a fucking goober. Step five, know to rinse off when you're done. There'll probably be some shit stains on you and your swimsuit. Part three, urinating in rough or choppy waters. I'm barely able to contain my excitement. Step one, go out no further than knee deep. You want to be able to sit in the ocean without the water coming past your chest. Be sure to face the horizon and incoming waves. Let me just say there's so many people on this beach trying to take a piss at the exact same time. Step two, turn to face the horizon and incoming waves. Even if you are only knee deep in the water, you still need to keep an eye out for waves. Small waves can suddenly turn into large waves. Everybody's going to read this article and take a simultaneous piss and then one of those baby waves is going to turn into an adult one and just spray everyone in a giant ball of piss. Step three, keep your swimsuit on. Even if part of you is hidden in the water, it is still a good idea to keep your swimsuit on. If you, if you wouldn't have told me that, then I would have been running around naked in the ocean. Now I know. Consider sitting down in the water. Make sure that your thighs are not touching. Lean back slightly and support your weight on your palms. Pretend that you are enjoying the water you should still be facing the horizon. Step number five provides an interesting alternative by suggesting squatting. She should be fearing for her fucking life doing those Slav squats because you know what they say, heels on the ground, comrade found, heels in the sky, western spy. Step six, wait for a few moments before standing back up. The way she looks is making it seem as if the WikiHow article was the greatest thing she's ever discovered in her life. Like reading this article and taking that piss was like the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's 2am and I have work in the morning, so I guess... Goodbye.